Hey, Harry, what do you think of this? It looks like an old diary. Belonged to T.M. Riddle. Hang on. I like that name. T.M. Riddle got an award for special services for the school 50 years ago. I know that because Filch made me polish his shield about 50 times in detention. Well, whoever he was, he didn't write in it. It's completely blank. I wonder why someone wanted to try and get rid of it then. Weird. Harry went to bed before anyone else in his dormitory that night, mainly because he wanted to examine Riddle's diary. He sat on his four-poster and flicked through the blank pages until... Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. I'm at Hogwarts and horrible stuff's been happening. Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? Of course I know about the Chamber of Secrets. In my fifth year, the chamber was opened and the monster killed a girl. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber and he was expelled. I can show you if you like. I can take you inside my memory of the night when I caught her. Okay. Harry sat entranced by the memory Tom Riddle showed him. Evening, Hagrid. What are you doing down here, Tom? It's all over. I don't think you meant to kill anyone. But monsters don't make good pets now, do they? It never killed no one. Come on. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. I... No! It was Hagrid, Ron. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Go tell Hermione. I've got to go and see Hagrid. Welcome back to the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 2 Let's Play. This is part 14 and my cold has gotten worse. As you guys remember in the previous part I told you guys that I have a cold and it's gotten worse. And my voice sounds awful and um, so it's going to be very annoying for you guys to listen to me in this video. Thanks for finding Trevor for me, Harry. I really appreciate it. Have a wizard card. That was not Neville on bottom. So the next thing we need to find is measuring scales. Last scene near Hagrid's hut. That's good because we actually need to go to Hagrid's. So that's perfect. So, we have a night mission right now. We just looked in Tom Riddle's diary and it showed that uh, it Hag Hagrid was in that. So we have to go to Hagrid and talk to him about it. Uh, the reason why I've gotten worse is because last night I were at a party drinking and there was a lot of wind outside and it was really cold because it's december and i was only wearing a dress so going to a party in december in a dress when you have a cold drinking is not the smartest idea but and uh, of course the party was awful as well so that just made it even worse so it's just my own fault that I sound so terrible, but I have to do this commentary right now, so you guys just have to just have to put up with it that I sound really terrible. You'll just have to put up with it, which I'm sorry about, but that's just how it has to be. So hopefully it's not too annoying in my voice and all of the sounds that I make and stuff like that. Hopefully it's not too annoying. Because I really don't want to annoy you guys with my code. But I really just can't uh, do anything about it. That's just how it is. So we'll just have to put up with it for now. And this code will probably last through the rest of this let's play because there's only two more videos of this let's play after this video. So it's not long till uh, this let's play is finished. 
actually. It's almost done. Soon, soon, soon done. So I've actually uploaded uh, this last play very quickly, I think. Up to now, it's gone quite well. It's not... This last play is quite short because it's very few parts. But still, I think I've uploaded it quite quickly. So that's quite good, in my opinion. I think I've done a good job with uploading videos for this Let's Play. So that is great. And I really need to sneeze, but I can't sneeze. I can sneeze in a cutscene because I will cut out the sound from the commentary. And we're soon in a cutscene, so I just have to wait a little bit more until I can sneeze. We're going to go to Hagrid's now, and there's going to be a cutscene, and uh, I will see you after that cutscene. far enough. As chairman of the school governance, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? Away to where? No, not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No! However, you will find that I will only truly have left this school when none here are loyal to me. You will also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Of course, if anyone were you to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along now, Hagrid. We don't want to keep the Dementors waiting now, do we? All right, I'm coming. All right, so they're sending Hagrid to Azkaban, and um, Dumbledore has lost his position as hat Hatmaster. So go behind here, to the trees, and you will find the measuring scales. Which we will return to the notice board in the next part. So, uh, Hagrid gave us a huge hint that we need to follow the spiders into the Forbidden Forest, so that is exactly what we're going to do now. last time uh, we are in the Forbidden Forest we will not return to the Forbidden Forest and um, for many people this time when we're at the Forbidden Forest is like the worst part of the game because of these spiders there are many small spiders here and what they do is that they jump on you which is not only very annoying it's also quite scary actually Because you can just be walking like normally and then suddenly the spiders will just jump on you. Which, as I said, is not only annoying but also scary. Now there is a couple of wizard cards in here. Uh, so uh, make sure you get them because you can't return to the Forbidden Forest. Now I'm not doing this Let's Play 100% but I'm just telling you guys so you know because it might be good to know even though I'm not doing this 100% some of you guys might be doing that so I'll just let you guys know about that so that you know so cast incendio on this spider web and jump into it
Is it Hagrid? Not exactly, but I'm a friend of Hagrid's. Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. Hagrid's in trouble. That's why I've come. In trouble? They think up at the school that Hagrid's been setting a... a something on students. They've taken him to Azkaban. But that was years ago. Everyone thought that I was the monster that dwells in the Chamber of Secrets. They thought Hagrid had opened the chamber and set me free, which was why he was expelled from Hogwarts. So you didn't come from the Chamber of Secrets? No, I come from a distant land and Hagrid cared for me. The girl who was killed 50 years ago who was discovered in a bathroom and I have not seen any of the castle apart from the cupboard I grew up in. If it wasn't you who killed that girl, then what did kill her? We shall not speak of it. I'll just go then? Go? I think not. But, but... I cannot deny my children fresh meat. Oh my god, so that is Aragog. Hagrid's... Shall I say pet? But uh, that's Hagrid's spider. Which he has taken care of. Uh, he is not the monster that, that dwells in the chamber secrets and he will not speak about the monster because spiders fear it. So he will not let Harry leave because he can't deny his children fresh meat. Uh, his children are all of these small spiders by the way. So we have to escape from the forbidden forest because they want to eat us. They want to kill Harry and eat him for dinner, but they will not do that because we need to uh, uh, run away and escape. And here is a wizard card that uh, I found in that chest. So go over here and you will see a spider web. Now you use uh, Incendio to destroy, not destroy, but kill the spiders. You need to use Incendio to do that. Other spells will not work. And don't worry too much about losing health because there are a lot of chocolate frogs around here. And not only that, but there's a lot of bushes as well so that you can cast the panda at and you will get health from that as well. Oh. Escape. So this is what we have to do to escape from here. We have to find these spiderwebs, cast incendio at them, so that the spiderweb that Aragog is sitting on top of will burn away and he will fall into the abyss. Oh, it's not an abyss, but it's like a hole, you know. At least he will fall into it, and that's what we're trying to do. So climb on top of here and what happened there and you will find a chest. So what is inside the chest? A wizard card. I think this is wizard card number 30 actually. I think I'm correct. Yes, it's number 30 which means that our health bar increased. So now we have a little more health. Which will make it a bit easier for us in boss battles and such. And um, each time you run into one of these uh, spiderwebs, you see these long ones. Your controller actually vibrates every time you run into them. Which is quite interesting. I don't really like that feeling, but it uh, at least the controller vibrates each time you run into them. So now you know that. So let's move on. And here's another chest. Is this a chocolate frog or a wizard guard? It's a chocolate frog. So as you guys see, there's a lot of chocolate frogs here. I'm not even going to collect it because I have full health. 
we shall probably lose soon, but still. And there's also a, a few silver spiders here. I don't know what those spiders are supposed to be. Maybe they're supposed to be albino spiders, I don't know. But they cast a different venom at you. The venom is kind of silverish, the same as the color of themselves. So that is quite interesting. Alright, so let's continue. And now we come over here, which is the end of this thing. So use Incendio, burn that up. And there are some puffer pods, if that's what they're called. Or I can't remember the name of them. But we learned how to pull them up from reading Gilderoy Lockhart's book. And someone is jumping at me. But thankfully they've now stopped. So use Incendio to get rid of these spiders before you try and get over uh, this area. And now we can uh, go along here and get over to the other side now that we've got rid of the spiders. So that's great. Alright, we're now over. Oh, he got hit in the face, it almost looked like. So run, run, run. I don't want to lose more health. Let's see. Go over here and burn the spider webs. And over there is the last spider web that we need to burn for Aragog to fall into the hole. Oh no, Harry has fallen into the hole together with Aragog. So we now have a boss battle at our hands. This boss battle is against Aragog, obviously, and he is huge. He is a huge spider. What are they called again? Like Acromenta. Uh, I, I don't remember the name of them, but it's something along those lines. And we have very little health, so each time you see one of those web things that come down from the roof use incendio on it and it might give you some health so what you do to kill Aragog not kill him but defeat him and oh we had a big weld so each time he stands on his back legs and reveals his uh, what should I say stomach you need to cast incendio on the stomach and then he will lose health and that like this and that is the only way to take away health from him and that's how you do this boss battle it's uh, pretty straightforward that's what you do and these spiders will continue following him around they won't attack you though they're just following Aragog around so just Keep your eyes on Aragog and not the small spiders because they will not bog you at all. Alright, shoot Incendio at him. And it looks like we're halfway done with the boss battle, that's nice. And he stands on his back legs again, that's nice. Uh, and here are some beans. Which you don't really need, to be honest, because we're not going to buy anything else, anything more. So we don't really need beans, really. And be careful. And I ran right into it. Shoot Incendio quickly. And shoot it again and there is more from those spider web things that have either beans or health in them 
just two beans and one stink pellet. What do we need the stink pellets for, if I might ask? Actually, we haven't used the stink pellets that we bought at Gamble and Jabe's at all in this Let's Play. We haven't used the stink pellets at all. But uh, use the stink pellets if you would like. I just didn't do that. So that's that. Uh, be careful for this wave. And stand on your back legs, please, so that I can defeat you. It is a quite boring boss battle. The boss battle is quite boring, if I shall be honest. It is quite boring. Alright, come on. Hurry up, Aragog. He's just turning around and stuff. Shoot him. I think we need to shoot him one more time. Maybe? I don't know. No, one more time now. Now we need to shoot Aragog one more time with Incendio and he will be defeated. So we're almost done with the boss battle. So that's nice. Oh, he's shooting Venom at us. Dodge that. Be careful. And now shoot Incendio at Aragog for the last time. So Ron just saved us from getting killed by Aragog, and that is basically this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, part 14. Come back for the next part, part 15, and we will do more stuff at Hogwarts. See you then.